And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Gauntlets. We're going to be playing another Singleton Gauntlet where we are going to uh, try another chance at the Prime Glory. So far, uh, we've done this two times. Each time we have lost the final game. We have to win seven games um, and we've lost at that, that final one each time. But we're going to try it again. So for today's deck, we have a Singleton Overwhelm deck that we're going to be playing. This deck has Noxus, Targon, Ionia. This deck is basically just like the Draven Overwhelm that we played yesterday. Um, a deck that I think is just really good. So um, kind of trying to have like the same numbers with like um, on the curve with one drops, two drops, three drops, and so on. We have to, you know, change things up a little bit since it's Singleton. But these should be just all pretty powerful cards together um, and a good top end at finishing the game out. Um, so we're going to be an, an aggressive deck here, kind of focused on uh, like a little Overwhelm theme at the top end. Uh, I like how we have the Crystal Ibex that we can grant something else Overwhelm, you know, maybe like a Zed or a Draven granting those things Overwhelm. And also Fey Guide, be able to grant things Elusive. I think that's a pretty cool um, combination here with our four mana cards. Um, got a Jewel Protector in here to make things larger in hand, um, but lots of ones, lots of twos. Lots of pretty good spells as well, and it should be pretty good. We're going to be playing brand new Inspiring Mentor for the first time whenever they, they just changed this card recently to be a 2-1 that grants an ally in hand plus 1 plus 0. We'll see how that card does. But anyway, that's going to be our deck. Let's let's uh, select it. Let's go play. We need, to, uh, we need to win seven games before we lose two in a row, but of course that last one we only have one shot. So let's see how we do. Let's play some Singleton Overwhelm. So we got Demacia, Freljord, Targon. All right, they got some cards. <laughs> Who knows what they got? All right, I want some cheaper things. Okay, there we go. Which one of these one drops do I want to lead with? I, I don't know if there's anything in hand that I really want to do the Inspiring Mentor, the plus one, plus zero to right now. We'll see what this card draw is. Legion Grenadier. I think I'm just gonna go with the Lunari Duskbringer for now. They forced us to choose death or the blade. You cannot hold us down. All right, we'll just play Grenadier on turn two, probably, depending on what we get. If we get like another one drop where we get to go double ones. No, oh, we'll just go Grenadier. Who's gonna get in my way? We don't have very many Nightfall cards, but we have a couple. I think we have like three. We have like Diana, we have Lunari Duskbringer, and then also the uh, Cygnus the Moonstalker. So we have a few. You'll soon understand my methods. All right, we'll just pump up the Battlecaster, make this thing a three-two. So kind of trades a little better. And I think we just go right to attacks before... Because, like, I could play Arachnoid Sentry, but then they could have... I mean, I guess we do Arachnoid Sentry, we stun that thing. Then even if they play, like, you know, like, one mana 5-5 five, five that kills my Battlecaster, we're still doing 4, 8, 11 damage to them. That's not bad. Maybe we should play the Sentry first. Hmm... Kind of... Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So five mana removal on that thing. No, they had that, that and enraged Yeti. Oh man, we got so punished by not just going to attacks. Hmm. Wow. Okay, well. You got me. Ooh. I'm glad I didn't attack. King of Trolls, Man, they, they really got me though. That was That was a tough call whether to play Sentry or not. And we got very punished for playing Sentry. The people are my strength. Smashing. That's gonna be difficult to deal the other 17 damage, that's for sure. Good, 
would definitely be the difference. The dragon's rage claws to get out. Alright, so they're not going to let me take down the trundle. I'm just going to play this immediately on my Nexus and see what's up. Did not work out. Did not work out at all. That turn four was the critical one. We can stay alive for another turn. Maybe three decimates get some. Obviously, I can't cast all three decimates next turn. The age of dragons is begun. So these are the two things that the Eclipse Dragons created. Plus one. So I have one card in hand for that. This isn't part of the training. Sure about that? This is just me taking the least amount of damage. Right, this is me taking zero damage, which is the least amount possible. Oh wait, oh I I should I I should have changed that. Alright, but that's still fine. Okay, my my way to win is these decimates. So it doesn't it doesn't really matter that they have a lot better board and that they're gonna kill me the next turn attacking. We have to just kill them this turn. Don't, don't think I really need to play Darius. Alright, if I pass next turn, I'm at 13 mana, not enough, or decimate, decimate, deny. I can still do it. Hopefully no rally. Cool. Interesting. All right, GGs. Can't handle the best, mate. Okay, same matchup. Same opponent. We'll see if we can defeat them two games in a row. That one was super close. We got pretty fortunate. I'm going to keep Mountain Goat into Zed. Mulligan the other two. Hopefully find a one mana card. There we go. I like it. You'll thank me later. Got 
4TZ. Sentry is a great card. So our two drops trade, they draw a card, I get a gem. There's, you know, that's a win for them, but what are you gonna do? I am the blade in the darkness. They have like Laurent Protege, they do have Laurent Protege. All right, another win for them. Unyielding light. Yet another win for them. Chosen of the moon. Chosen of cowards and blasphemers. Night descends. I will be heard. The trolls are going to <laughs> Again, they get five seven trundle. So I'm thinking, with this block, I'm thinking of, like, next turn going, like, Solari Soldier as a 3-3, and then Arachnoid Sentry, Stun Trundle. So, of course, I need the two spots for that. Hmm. Or could go Green Glade Duo. And then Sentry. And then we can also gem. They probably don't want to block with that trundle. Maybe I just maybe I just stun the the shield bear now. Crowds warriors of the sun's true light. So we'll use whatever spell to keep Trundle alive. But we're still forcing them to use, you know, like that kind of spell on one of my little T2s. It's something like a repost or something like that. Troll chant. Not as good for me, but still they're down to eight. We got the Cygnus here. And the Green Blade duo. The spirit of winter awakens. Oh, come on. Anivia. For my homeland. How did that move go? Strike them down. They couldn't block Diana. The their other thing was stunned. Loyalty. So that thing couldn't block Diana. Yeah, Trundle could have, but then they would have taken. They blocked the three two instead, and so they didn't take three extra damage. So both of my things are attacking for six in the air. I mean, I guess I, I could challenge. The ice Pillar. You got a problem? Yeah, I guess I could challenge the Ice Pillar. Let's put them down to two. We can draw Noxion Fervor. Nope, never mind.
I think 5-7 Trundle on turn 5 is pretty good. They've had that both games. Ooh, but we may steal it again with the help of Captain Farron. This is me going down to 10. I could throw Diana away and go down to 11. Which, the next turn, Diana's going to die anyway. So I think that's worth it. I'm honestly a little surprised the Ice Pillar isn't pulling anything, but I'm, maybe it doesn't matter. Okay, so we also know they have another dragon in hand, because they played the, the Dragon's Clutch to draw two dragons, so we know... I think this one's also a dragon, so... All right, well, hopefully two decimates does it. I don't really have anything else going on. <laughs> there we go. Two decimates does it. They probably are not a big fan of Captain Farron right now. All right, playing against a different deck. They got two of the regions the same as me, but then they're going to Bilgewater instead of Ionia. They got some Misfortune. And some Gangplank. All right, we'll lead with the Saboteur. No one's the wiser. Hey, <laughs> yeah, Captain Farron was super clutch. Just that one of Captain Farron. Uh, it's Raven time. Uh, oh, that's too bad. They also had a one drop. That. Damn it. They're gonna have a Draven on turn three. That could be uh, messy. Explosives primed. Everything's in place. So you know they're playing Draven this turn. I think I just attack for two. I could go like Inspiring Mentor on the Duskbringer and then play the Duskbringer as a 3-1 and get an extra point of damage in. I think I want to put that on the Cygnus, the Inspiring Mentor on the Cygnus. Give me a sweet bun. I can use the senses. We were peaceful once. Cool. We can get a Draven next turn. Has arrived. I don't carry change. Hmm. All right, so they're not playing Draven. I'm out of their league. This isn't part of the training. I'm down to twelve. Um. See, so, yeah, I can save five life by fervoring that thing. <clears throat> okay, well now we'll do that. Now we save seven life. And kill their thing. Now it's definitely worth it. Raven, I love you! Me too, kiddo. Me too. Now we're cooking. Well, that's an easy decision. That's an easy decision. No more hiding. All right, we'll give the Draven elusive next turn. Ooh, just taking it all. I don't. I'm surprised that Crimson Aristocrat's not blocking House Spider. I'm surprised that they're not trading the twos. 
they, they should still, one of these two cards should be Draven. Probably the one in the middle. Nope, it's the one on the end. Fey Guide gives me a good blocker for the Precious Pet, because <clears throat> I don't really want to have Draven block. Fortune favors the bold. For the Empire. You for the money. Yeah, I like Fey Guide quite a bit. It's a, that's a good card. If they mounted, I'd let them live. Okay. Well, you will block there. Afraid. You will block here. We'll just throw you in. Uh, maybe we don't need to throw you in front. Your path ends here. I'm going to go into 11. <clears throat> I could probably just go to 11. I'll just keep these two ones alive. We could save three life by blocking Draven. Disciplines. Okay. Alright, GG's. I was going to do the plus three plus zero on the Draven to make it six power, and then that would turn on my Cygnus, and then I'd play the Cygnus, give something else elusive also. So both Cygnus and Draven were going to be lethal. That looks like six really good champions. Let's try to kill Swain and Twisted Fate. Maybe I should be keeping up. Explosives primed. And honestly, I should probably be playing the Inspiring Mentor here to give the Green Glade duo the plus one plus zero. And then play Green Glade duo on turn two. Then on turn three, I could play, you know, like that one drop, play like Demolitionist, you know, play other things like that. Pablo's been down, but his knee out! Get me a sweet bug. Lightens the senses. Everything's better with company. Says you. See? And no, it's just singleton, you right? So like, I'm not really trying to play around, like make it rain or whirling death or you know all sorts of like little things they could have that would be pretty devastating. We're just playing singleton. Probably gonna have to calling strike this boxtopus. Try to keep it from killing my uh, green glade duo. Ooh, thanks for thanks for passing over to me. I don't know why they did that particularly. Thanks. I don't know. Were they trying to like twist a fate red card? Deal me in. Yep. Figured that one. But since I had, uh, since I had that pell cascade, I was willing to do that. Um. I'm a people person. Ah, oh, they did have Whirling Death. Crazy. Alright, at least I got Cooling Strike available now. Alright, right, I guess we won't deal damage. And I think I just take the five from the Avaros and Hearthguard. Our banner will lead the way. Maybe not. I guess blocking. Yeah, actually, blocking Justify makes sense. 
for that thing into being a 5-2. Now I still have Diana plus Might. By the moon's crescent blade. Be nothing left when I'm done. So everything's attacking. Never see us I think. I know that's definitely challenging there. Come, a new phase awaits. I will be heard. And five five block Swain. I might that. Face your heretic. Hey, Muhammad, doing good. Please. Yeah, we are good at drawing Captain Farron, aren't we? We are pretty good at that. See, I want the like the overwhelm to be going on the powder keg. Could have had Swain challenge the powder keg and then overwhelm Swain with the might. <clears throat> All right, good turn for them. That was good. Good see, you know, good things happening. This will put them down to six. We'll be able to keep Twisted Fate alive. I will break But I feel like Captain Farron's gonna finish this out again. Against just two cards. Time to make some coins. GG's or what? Aberrations! <laughs> Captain Fair's doing all the work. I guess I should play this and then, you know, play my Demolitionist, play my Lunari Shade Stalker. Alright, GG's. B4 and O. Alright. Only four champions. And one of them's Braum. Let's mulligan, mulligan, mulligan. Keep Draven. Look for ones and twos. <laughs> no, there's there's no rank for uh, um, singleton like this with three different regions. The only spot where you can play this format is in these gauntlets. My faith protects me. Battle. Really, Draven's biggest fan. He engages, but will he survive? Hopefully, yes. That's a yikes. Time for the main event. Get him, Draven. Bearding stones. Not about giving Draven elusive, Butcher. but I think I want to do this. Axes coming right up. Keeping the Draven, like I know I could play the Draven's biggest fan here, but keeping that to, to discard to spinning to spinning axe if they would block. Kato. All right, elusive Kato. That's what I'm all about. What time is it? This thing's scary with six mana. Like if they got, okay, cool. Let's say that's scary if if they grabbed the um, six mana obliterate card. Now I could also just go Cygnus. So I go like preemptive spinning axe and then Cygnus. I think I like that. Come, tonight we'll bring them to justice. 
No. Kato. Got access, need victims. Maybe I should have gave the Draven the elusive. Not the best elusive. I should just name this deck like <laughs> Captain Perrin. down to eight. No. Back to 13. We ran into somebody playing star shaping. That's so good against my decimates. Not over. We're at twenties. Twenties a lot of life. This is Singleton. We're playing the gaunt the gauntlet uh, with Singleton right now. Pretty good about getting this game. Now they'll pay attention. Our two elusives. And then decimate, decimate. That's the plan. Be quiet! How middling. Well then. Noxion Fervor. Leviathan. You have something to block, you know, like a Rillian soul. Probably more likely that out of these two cards, like one of them survives to be able to block. What's the point of that. No. Oh. Daylight star will rule the skies. He's a good boy. Why would you not play the messenger first? And pump up the immortal fire even more. She's almost as old as me. Okay. Alright, four and one. Really in soul is kinda good. Going all Freljord. You can go three different regions. We're sticking with one. 
So Braum and Anivia died a calling strike. Hmm. I think I'll keep the calling strike this time. They should be a deck that does a good job of buffing up their um, their health. It's what a lot of the Frail Yord cards do, you know, like your troll chants and uh, things like that. And so maybe pulling strike works out well against them. Uh, my favorite type of deck, I'm I'm definitely a mid-range player. Gonna do that, then pass to me. I'll just play this right now to kind of save my mana. Or use my mana better, instead of just passing and wasting that one mana. Yeah, usually like like Demacia decks with a bunch of challengers, that's that's the kind of stuff that's right up my alley. So now they have one of these six champions in their hand. <laughs> Not really narrowed down too much. You are safe with Brom. Sorry, Draven's biggest fan. You made the ultimate sacrifice. So killing the Braum keeps them from getting a 3-3. Oh, they don't have brittle steel. Time for the money makers. Really hope they don't have brittle steel. Just let this happen. All right, good. That would have been a ton of resources just wrecked by a brittle steel. Yeah, I could have done the same. I could have done that same thing going at the Draven. You know, the Draven plus three. Um, we're doing. We do less damage to them in that respect because you know, like a, the Whirling Death and then some damage. So like they they would have a lot higher life total. Um, but yeah, we would have leveled up Draven. Yeah, Karma Elise is... I've been playing against a good amount of Karma Elise these days. So yeah, that's a thing. Alright, back back to a win. Five and one. We're moving on. Damn, I'm good. Lots of Trundles today. That's been the champion that we have played against the most for sure. Maybe even single card. I'm going to just keep all this. This hand looks pretty good. Hope they don't have any of the Shadow Isles things that does one damage. But it's like we're just playing, you know, constructed elusives over here. We have, I don't know, maybe eight Ionia cards in our deck total. Arm. They had one of the Shadow Elves cards that does one damage. Poor Green Glade Caretaker. So I wanted to make that block, of course, to make it more difficult. You know, like if that if that thing was gone, then better chance that I would level up Zed. But 
Now they have that. That's why I blocked the Omen Hawk. Wow. That's pretty good. Um, which one of these do I want to use? I'm saving Zed, just kind of debating on how I'm going to save Zed. I think the Pale Cascade. That only puts it to one health. Yeah, I think still the Pale Cascade. I could fervor and kill that 3-1. Probably don't need to. Why are they trying to kill my Zed? Alright, I'm gonna just save the spell mana. We fight for one frail yard. Today we fight as one. Ooh, I like that might. I like that. Coming in hot. Oh. Now I want I wanna play Diana, but. Okay, no, they, okay, good. They can't have the... Oh, they, they can have the... Mm, they can just grab the spell that does four damage and one damage. Maybe I should go to attacks. Find your own light within the darkness. Your light is alive. Hopefully they don't have it. Yay! Okay. So I will attack. Face your heretic! I'm just going to do that proactively to make two, seven, three overwhelms. Stand and defend. All right, now I'll put it down to negative one. That would be 14 and then 17. Ugh, star shaping. Why are you killing me, star shaping? Alright, so they have two life. Put that star shape in. What once was two now is one. Two life's not that much. The hour is mine. Find you. Alright, back to six. I'm gonna go ahead and attack first. I can only play one decimate this turn. Enter the celestial realm. Alright, GG's. We are six and one. Captain Theron finishes it out again. Alright, we're here for the final battle. We only get one chance at the seventh win. Both of our other two gauntlets that we've done, uh, the last two weeks we have lost this final battle. We went to six wins and lost, so hopefully this time we get the win and get one star towards the prime glory. Alright, same opponent that we just played against. I don't know, this hand's kind of weird. I'm gonna look for some other early stuff. Ugh, yuck. 
I decided to keep the Katarina as like my late game card. Unfortunately, we drew a couple other late game cards. Okay, so just no one drop, but doing okay besides that. Safeguard our homes. <laughs> That's Harvey being a dog. I'm planning on having Fey Guide give the Mountain Goat elusive. Yeah, nice avalanche. Never mind, nice avalanche. Alright, well, this is working well for them so far. I just want to keep the three, the three mana for this might and stuff. Yeah, this this game has worked out really, really well for them. But it's not over. Darius Leviathan. These cards can do quite a bit of damage. And then obviously we have uh, Katarina. We can get us some extra attacks. Sure. This is difficult because if I play Katarina and then they play Ruination, that's rough. But obviously, I, like I want to have Katarina go in and attack, level up. So if I do that and they play Ruination, then I can still have Draven's biggest fan and Legion Saboteur. What have you learned? Ruination is just a one of at most. Me. Let's talk about your dad. I think they're just dead, right? Misguided. Yeah, pretty sure they're dead. Strength above all. Play Katarina attack again. They'll never know what the Daria should kill them. And I don't like using the Might on the Katarina because the Katarina, even though like we would get the damage in right there because the Katarina bounces back to my hand. But there we go. Seven wins. GG's. Jeez. Still a turn seven win, even with all that stuff happening. You know, like they had turn three avalanche, and I'd still had dealt like no damage to them. And then was it turn five? I guess they healed their nexus for five, and you know, had like that ramp stuff. And still turn seven, we killed them. So there we go. We got one prime glory now. Moving forward. Uh, so the last chance gauntlet next month in December, we'll have one win um, towards that. So, cool. Awesome, so yeah, this singleton deck was really good. Uh, if y'all are you know, looking for another singleton deck, give this one a try, nice, aggressive deck. Um, make sure you draw your Captain Ferrans. <laughs> that's some... That's, um, uh, some piece of advice right there. We did a very good job of drawing Captain Farron's and killing people from that. Um, nothing I was too disappointed in in the deck. I think it played very well. I think it played uh, exactly how I wanted it to. 
Um, people kept on killing my Green Glade duo, and I was sad about that. But um, yeah, that's that's our uh, Singleton Overwhelm deck. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. If you give this deck a try, let me know how it goes, or if you're you know trying anything else. Uh, I always love seeing those comments. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.